Hey, so it seems like you like my money videos. So today we're going to deep dive into how much YouTube pays me for one month worth of content. Now these videos take forever to edit. So if you like these type of videos and you wanna see more of these, please remember to smash that like button. It really does help me in the YouTube algorithm. And just to highlight, I've got 30,000 subscribers and my channel's been going for around about three, three and a half, four years. It took me time to build up to this kind of income but you can get there as well, just patience. So let's dive into my analytics. Okay, so analytics and revenue. We're gonna have a look at February as a whole because I'm recording this on the 30th of March. The rest of March hasn't been done yet and February is 28 days. So at least that's four weeks that we can scale on here. Now you'll see that I earn around about $1,000, $1,078.01 for that reason, which is around about 780 quid. How does this break down and how does this compare to an average month? Well, as you can see here, my RPM has been bouncing around the $3.70 mark and scales up. Now in March, I've noticed that it's trending up a little bit because it's, you know, Easter coming soon, so people wanna uh, buy for holidays and uh, spend on chocolate. But overall, not a bad CPM for an educational channel such as myself. If you're an entertainment channel, that might be much lower because you can get more viral views, but that's worth less overall. Whilst educational people can advertise against me or brands that want to sell to you. So say for example, you happen to be a a browser extension to help people optimize their searches, that kind of thing. Just had to check that my microphone was on right there. Hopefully it still is. Now RPM, remember, is what I take home. CPM is the actual money being pushed towards the channel before YouTube take their cut. So you'll see here that CPM is around about $10. Yes, that does mean that YouTube takes around about 65% of my paycheck. That's completely normal. And with the new YouTube tax laws, then they may take a little bit more or less, depending on who you are. Remember to watch that video, it'd be in the iCard somewhere. Now there's not anything specific that spikes these, it just bumbles along over the course of a general month. So mine, on average, is about $10 CPM. So 10, 64, and it went up based on previous 28 days, and it says here, playback CPM means effective playback based on cost per mil, and tells you how much advertisers paid per thousand monetized playbacks. To calculate your playback CPM and total revenue ads is divided by estimated monetized playback. An estimated monetized playback happens when a viewer sees at least one ad impression when watching your videos. So overall what this means is that if I get 300,000 views, some of those 300,000 views won't have ads, some of them they'll skip through and some have a chance to have ads but they never get seen or someone's got a YouTube premium account in which the adverts are denied and then I'll get a small slice of that. Now scrolling down here we'll have a look at my average on a monthly basis. See October 1200, November 1200-ish, December 1300, nearly 1400-ish, and then January, you'll see the dip there. That's the Christmas crash. Basically, everyone spends a load of money in advertising coming up to Christmas for birthday presents, and then in December, they've blown up all their budget. So that drops down to just shy of $1,000. February's creeping back up again to 1,000, nearly 1100, and then March, which is the month we're in right now, with two days left to go, we're around about the same. This breaks down in February to $1,070 in adverts and $7 in YouTube premium. Once again, those are people that don't see adverts, but they pay YouTube, say, seven or $10 per month, and then I'll get a slice of whatever they watch. So if you have YouTube premium and only ever watch me, I might be very lucky to get a very large percentage of your membership. On average, my ad types happen to be skippable, skippable videos that are inserted before or during the main video and are sold via AdWord auctions, bumper adverts, six second long non-skippable in-stream that are inserted before the main and sold to advertisers in the AdWords platform, again, auction, auction, non-skippable, non-skippable videos that are inserted during and after the main video and display display ads, rich media images, you know, those little banners. But overall, most of mine are skippable ads. Now, I don't do live streams 
maybe one day I will, because that's where a lot of YouTubers in my kind of space make money through super chats and super stickers. But what I do do is affiliate marketing. And what I'll do is I'll deep dive into how much money I make in affiliate marketing on a monthly basis. I'll put that video here, and if it's not there quite yet, check out this video here where I mention how you can make money without YouTube ads.